So hello and welcome. My name is Manvir and you are watching the BLT channel. We are going to see how to make Pro Evolution Soccer 19 work with Lutrus. If you don't know how to install Lutrus, I'm going to leave the uh, tag to watch the previous video. So without further ado, let's get down to business. Add the game and write the name of the game. This is the add manually for the people who crack their games or their testing the Pro Evolution Soccer if it will work on their system so I just copied the name of the game and select wine for the Windows games select the executable so uh, head to the drive for your game drive and select the executable for the game I'm using the spy version, I'm not going to provide the crack because I don't condone it, I just test games with it, if I like the game, I buy it. So add your directory and here we are going to need to install some runners. So hit save to just save the game, uh, the thumbnail will uh, show up in second, here it is. So yeah. Now we are going to need to install the runners. Click on the store icons to load the runners. And for this game, select the latest runner, which is currently recording this video is 4.19. And let it install. After that is done and it's installed, hit OK, hit OK and go back to the game. Now, in the runner options, select Lutris Novoshack 4.19 or your preferred runtime. Enable the XVK uh, for the Pro Evolution Soccer, if not mistaken, it's uh, 1.3.4 and above all working. Uh, if you enable eSync, you will get some stutterers. In my case, I did, so I'm gonna leave it off and all seems alright. I'm gonna add a little bit, a tiny command which will show us the FPS and frame time I'm getting. So DXVK all in caps, uh, underscore and HUD all in caps. And in the value write FPS and uh, frame times, uh, do just a comma, frame times. Now hit save hit enter excuse me and then save after that is done the setup is completed for pro evolution soccer so let's launch and the wine mono installer will show up let it install as you can see now uh, the pro evolution soccer 19 launched and the installer didn't finish it's okay uh, it will be black screen don't panic, it's normal, let it finish. After that is done and it's finished, it will show up with this wine gecko one more time. Uh, we need the mono and gecko to run, so let it finish. As you can see, it now finished. And it will uh, do us another more one pop up. Yes, this is the wine gecko. Hit install. As you can see, now it's almost done and we will we should be good to go after this uh, the pro evolution soccer 19 uh, should stay in black screen don't panic it's okay it's normal just hit close hit stop in lutris as you can see it tell us it exited with the return code of minus 15 it's okay just launch it one more time and it should launch right away as you can see our fps counter and uh, our frame time graph showed up uh, the game is launching and yeah so the game is working i'm gonna go ahead and uh, enter a game the stutters from the beginning it's all right it's because loading the cache uh, it will uh, regular it will be uh, normally after 30 minutes of gameplay so yeah it's all right now after you saw this game working uh, it but it's in uh, windowed mode 
uh, the settings won't launch in Lutrus. Uh, there is a bug, I don't know why, I couldn't fix it. So I launched it in Windows and copied the settings dot dot. If you have uh, preferred settings, you can copy them. Uh, if you want just a 1080p full screen at 60 FPS lock uh, from the settings dot dot, I will leave this the file in the description below. You can download it and put it in your uh, directory, which is uh, in our home. It will be a hidden file. So if we do show hidden files, it will show us dot wine in the drive C users, your username and my documents. Konami Pro Evolution Soccer and paste it here. Now, if we go back and launch it, it should launch in full screen mode. So yeah, so this was uh, how to get the PS19 working in, in Linux under Lutrus DXVK. So if you enjoyed it, got anything from it hit the like subscribe that will help me greatly and see you all in the next one